no, 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 red hair in the title but my hair is black right now it's because your girl is impulsive all right literally the day after i filmed this video i dyed my hair black why i don't know like i just felt like going back to black i get tired of my hair color quick even though I'm, i think i'm gonna stick with this for a long time though because my hair is done with being dyed and and played with like i need to chill but I'm still posting this video because I still have dyed hair and I'm going to continue using this same hair care routine. And the thing is, if you know anything about red hair, you know it is so difficult to deal with because the color fades really quickly and you need to maintain it very well. Before having dyed hair, I used to have bleached hair, like bleached from root to tip. And I don't know why I always thought that the maintenance for bleached hair would be similar to the maintenance for dyed hair but i was so wrong i was so wrong they are completely different and they need different things to maintain them so in today's video i'm going to be showing you exactly what i use and what i've been doing to maintain the health of my dyed hair and let me tell you something with my red hair i did not even have to touch it up i did such a good job at keeping the color so vibrant that i barely had to tint it which is crazy because that color is difficult so let's get into the video i will be showing clips of myself in the shower but don't worry i have a bathing suit on so okay so first thing i want to mention when it comes to dyed hair i only use cold water to wash my hair i've noticed that when you use hot or warm water it literally your color strips so fast especially with red the shower water would literally be bright red at the bottom if i use warm or hot water and let me tell you something let me tell you something there's a difference between washing your hair with cold water and taking a cold shower. I do not take cold showers. I can't stand cold showers. They remind me of being in DR, like no thank you. So in the video, I might look a little weird sometimes because what I do is I'll take a shower with regular like warm or hot water, right? And then when it comes time to actually rinse my head, I'll change the water to cold. So you're gonna see me in the video kind of like leaning, literally leaning back because I only want the cold to touch my head, not my body because it's too cold so yeah that's i just wanted to say that all right so i always start off with shampoo obviously to be honest i don't have a holy grail shampoo at the moment i kind of switch out my shampoos all the time i'm always trying something new i think as long as you're using shampoos that are color safe you're gonna be good so right now i'm obsessed with this one this is the vegamore grow revitalizing shampoo you guys this shampoo I don't even use this for because I have dyed hair. I would use this in general because it has made my hair grow so much. My hair has inches. This will literally give you inches, trust me. And it just so happens to be color safe. I don't like the smell of it that much, but the way this makes my hair grow, no other shampoo has ever done that. So I'm also using this one here. I have not been using this one for too long, but it is color safe and it is a moisture repair shampoo. Now, I am the type of person that my hair gets oily very quickly. So when it comes to hydrating shampoos like this one, I only use it from the middle of my hair down because if I put this anywhere near my roots, my hair is just going to get oily even quicker than it already naturally does. So I make sure to only focus this on the ends of my hair and it does a really good job at moisturizing my ends. So after shampoo, I always like to go in with a hair mask and I have two hair masks to tell you guys about and these, listen up. If you have dyed hair, listen up. So first of all, we have the Olaplex number no. 8 Bond Intense Moisture Mask. You guys, I don't know what is in this mask. It's magic. It will literally reverse your damage. It's going to it's giving you virgin hair again basically <laughs> but when this says that it is an intense moisture mask it really does mean intense so you actually have to be really careful with this one so as instructed i like leaving this on for no more than 10 minutes and it is a game changer this alone has gotten rid of all of my dryness you know when you dye your hair at first your hair gets super dry and like tangled 
this will get rid of that like 100% I know a lot of people complain about the price of Olaplex for the size that you're getting because this seems super small I mean look at it compared to my hand one thing i've noticed about all olaplex products is that a little goes a long way so literally one to two pumps of this is enough to cover my entire head and it's gonna take me a really long time to finish this and it's such a good quality mask you guys i really think it's worth the money next up we have the amica soul food nourishing mask you guys this has become one of my all-time all-time favorite masks oh my god it smells so good. It smells so clean. Usually this smell stays like lingering in my hair and I love it. it. I use it in so many different ways. I'll use it in the shower. I can also use this one overnight. This will make your hair so smooth, so shiny, split and free. Like this one is super, super. It just conditions your hair really, really well. So yeah, these are the two hair masks that i am obsessed with lately we have intense moisture for really dry hair and then we've got nourishment for damaged hair together they are unstoppable you guys have to try these then i also want to mention i am the kind of person that brushes my hair in the shower and i like using either the tangle teasers from target or brushes like this where the bristles are super soft because when your hair is wet it's in its most vulnerable state and it can easily break these brushes that don't have hard bristles usually do not tug or break your hair so usually i'll brush my hair while i have the mask on and then clip it up out of the way so I can finish my shower and then rinse it out after the 10 minutes has passed. So usually after the hair mask, my hair is already so smooth and perfect and soft that I don't even need conditioner. But if I do want to use conditioner, I will definitely use the Olaplex conditioner. Alright you guys, now on to what I do when I'm out of the shower. So like I said earlier, what I use in the shower is kind of always changing. I'm always trying new shampoos. But what you do when you're out of the shower, I think is even more important than what you do when you're in the shower because while your hair is damp it is most like absorbent it will absorb anything you put on it times a hundred so you really need to take advantage of this window where your hair is damp and moist to use really really good products i think these are the products that make or break your hair health so first of all using a leave-in conditioner is a must i'm obsessed with the it's a 10 miracle leave-in product i've been using this for a while now and i really really like it although i'm not gonna lie i've never really used another kind of leave-in conditioner so i am biased but i think this one works really well now next up we have these two products here you guys i can't shut up about these specifically this green bottle but let me just let me just tell you what both of them are at first so this is from the brand called semi di lino the pink one here is a nutritive detangling fluid for dry hair. I love this one. If you have dyed hair, you know that having tangled hair is an issue. So using a detangler is something I always like to incorporate just to keep my hair super smooth. This green one, I have a story. I'm sorry, but I have a story. This is the anti-breakage daily fluid for damaged hair. When I first bleached my hair my hairstylist she told me that she recommended i start using this so i bought it from her that same day and i started using it on my own time my hair felt like it was not bleached at all but i went back to my stylist and i told her oh my god where can i get this from i need it like it saved my hair she was like oh i'm so sorry but you can only buy it through me because this brand is exclusive to salons only I was heartbroken but i continued buying it from her so that's why i never really told you guys about this product because it was never available to the public until the other day i went to the beauty supply store near me and i saw an entire shelf of this brand and it said like new so i i think this is newly released to the public now i hope it is when i tell you this will literally make your hair so much stronger you know when your hair is dyed it is more susceptible to breaking and getting brittle and just like weak this is going to save you even if you have bleached hair you need this like it really reverses your damage like crazy all right and last but not least then i like to wait for my hair to air dry around like 50 percent make sure that it is not soaking wet but like you know damp and i go in with my holy grail olaplex number no. seven bonding oil as you can see i use this oil a lot it is literally running low but don't worry i already have a brand new one 
waiting to be used because over here we don't play around with this oil let me tell you something about this oil this has saved my hair in ways that i can't even i can't even describe it to you guys this is the kind of product that you really just need to trust me and try it for yourself and again this product seems really tiny but a little bit goes a very very long way and these little tiny bottles last me forever and i have very fine hair that can easily be weighed down or made greasy and oily this oil is so lightweight that it does not do that it has never given me a problem it never makes me look greasy oily it does not weigh my hair down and i did not use this in the video at the time with my red hair but i have been using this product now with my black hair and i'm really really loving it i have not used it for that long yet to have a big opinion on it but for the little bit of time that i have been using it i've seen a difference this really really penetrates the hair and gives it so much moisture and now with black hair this has made my hair super super shiny i mean i don't know if you guys can tell my hair is so shiny and it's thanks to this oil here. all right you guys and that is it for my updated hair care routine that is everything that i'm loving right now i usually let my hair air dry so after that i am completely done if i ever do use heat on my hair i definitely make sure to use a heat protectant first i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up if it was helpful give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments down below any shampoos conditioners or anything you guys are obsessed with right now that i should try out share this video with anyone you think might find it helpful and don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so that you get notified whenever i post any new videos thank you so much muchos besos y abrazos de nueva york I will see you in Yeah, 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 yeah